What's up guys, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 Awesome day today I got the new Buffalo pickup kit from G-Mate Now this being a kit version, you still need a radio transmitter Your servo ESC, your motor, your battery and receiver But uh, the good part about these and what I like about RC is putting them together Now I love the old school looking body, I'm not too sure what colour I've painting it But uh, it's got also light buckets where you can put the um, optional LEDs in there and which I have as well. One tenth scale front weight distribution so a lot of the weight is on the front wheels. CMS which is chassis mounted servo. Four link suspension. It's got really cool inner fenders as well so you know it's going to mitigate a lot of dust and mud getting up under the body there. Four wheel drive overdrive so what that is is the front wheels actually turn slightly faster than the rears and the uh, G-Made Buffalo gearbox is designed that way. It comes with optional gears so you can have it with no overdrive, uh, overdrive stock or another one as well on top so make it really aggressive. But apparently with overdrive it has a better turning radius and also it doesn't twist as much and it just puts the power down to the front wheels when you're going up steep inclines a little bit better. Two speed transmission so it's, you know you got your first speed for crawling and second speed for when you want to go a little bit quicker and you're out in the trails and you wanted to kind of walk a bit faster it can move ahead of you so it's got TTR and what that is is torque twist reduced transmission and so basically from the transmission the front and rear universal drive shafts rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise so that kind of um compensates the difference so pretty cool interesting to see that out on gmade's youtube channel you can see the difference it makes it's actually pretty impressive but we'll go through a lot of these things um, you know and we'll test it out once we build it and get it out on the trail this video i want to open it up and see what you get inside and uh yeah let's have a look now if you're interested in this links are down below if you want to go check it out and pick one up for yourself but uh let's have a look my first gmade i've had two gmade cars and they were the sawbacks I think they're fantastic. They're really, really nice cars. Handle well, and for the value for money, you can't beat them. But let's have a look. Alrighty. I haven't had a build in a while, to be honest. Here's all the chrome parts. Check out that grill. Like I mean, it's kind of like an old school looking grill. I really like it. There's all your plastic parts, additional parts like your wiper blades, your mirrors, your inner, your outer fender. Sorry for the body. So. Nice, you don't have to paint them, they come black, so sweet, that looks really cool. Front bumper bar, and also this chassis is adjustable, which is awesome as well. So if you want to get different bodies, you can lengthen the chassis as well. Here we go, check out that, your C-channel frame, all metal obviously, which is cool. Really prototypical, and the actual chassis, once it's all built, it does look uh, like a, a real truck as well underneath especially with all those um, fenders as well nice oh and what I forgot to mention what's really nice the chassis it has like its own um, inbuilt bracket for a fan so where you whether because the motor goes up in the front it's got like a chassis uh, mounted like a plastic chassis piece that goes over there with holes pre-drilled ready to rock and roll and put a fan on there if you really want to all right Look at this bag or full ball bearings obviously these pumpkins nice and small and scale looking that's for sure all metal gears here's your axle housing plastic but that is fine here's your shocks you got to put everything together that's what's fun about these kits it does include your shock oil there's your gears there transmission housing it looks like oh and there's that uh, piece we'll see about with the fan so you put that over the motor and you can put the fan straight on there that's really nice more ball bearings for the gearbox or the transmission. Huge bag full of all the screws and check out that really nicely labelled. That's for sure. You're not gonna not gonna get lost there or, or gonna be uh, trying to remember which bag you need. Like rod ends. There's your telescopic drive shafts. Rock sliders. Yeah, check out that your nice body. And this Lexan feels a little bit thicker than normal, which is really cool. Check out that. Sweet looking old school body. 1.9 beadlock wheels. Sweet. I love that old school look as well. Simple but uh, one of my faves. Here we go, your tyres. MT1903. G made. That look cool. Foam field obviously. Quite aggressive pattern there. But let's see how they perform in real world. Bumper bar and heaps of other stuff. Looks like accessories for the top. 
of the uh, of the hood or the roof. There's your inner fenders, so they go over the body and they stop a lot of ingress of mud and water and stuff like that, which is sweet. Instruction manual, 3M tape, gotta love that. Bonus parts, so we'll check out that later on. Full sticker kit, obviously. And in here, now you don't you don't get these when you buy the when you get the stock kit. So G made sent me these, and I want to do I'll show you what they are. So because it does have light buckets, you can get lights for it, obviously. So you've got a roof rack LED kit, Komodo LED kit. So that's another model, but it probably fits this model as well. Front bumper LED kit and fog front bumper fog light LED kits. That's cool. It also comes, like I said before, how you can have it uh, with overdrive, like a, a more aggressive overdrive or nothing. So you go hard and steel overdrive set, and then this one is no overdrive set. So if you want the wheels spinning the same like a normal crawler, you can. But at the moment, it's stock. It's got a slight overdrive. I think it's 114 RPM at the front wheels and 100 RPM uh, revolutions per minute at the back. So it's slightly uh, stock, slightly spinning a bit quicker in the front wheels. So there we go there. So that's it. Wanted to show you in this quick video, show you everything that you get in the box. Hopefully get this beast started. Drop the beast. We'll hopefully drop the beast in some awesome trails and see how that performs. But uh, like I said, I do love G-Made. I do believe they are really good value for money and they have quality parts as well. My, my what were they? Sawbacks? They went forever. And they look awesome as well because because the Jeep was such a small car, it was more like a 1.6 scale because you can fit 1.6 scale figures in there as well. So there we go. There, Here's your hardened steel gears and shafts and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Let me know down in the comments if any of you guys have this car and built it. And let me know what you've done, how do you feel about it, how has it performed, any upgrades or any hints and tips. Please let me know. But uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video unboxing, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.